Hello folks and welcome. Majero 23. Hot off the press. 9-5-2023 is when I'm filming this and I believe it was released yesterday. So I'm going to talk about the highlights for the XFCE desktop. There are other desktops that they have. I'm mainly going to be talking about the file manager today and I'm going to approach it from the angle of a new user. So welcome folks. Let me first give you system info using INXI with the option of Big FXE. Just strips out personal info. Now, unfortunately, I can't enlarge everything in this video, so uh, just bear with me here. So Manjaro Linux is an Arch-based distribution, if you are not that familiar with uh, Manjaro. Um, as far as, uh, uh, would I recommend that for any user? Certainly. I don't see any problem with anyone learning this. But more importantly, this is Manjaro. And usually Arch-based distributions um, favor terminal for installing software. However, Manjaro gives you best of both worlds. You can use terminal and also point and click. So the video for today is on the XFCE desktop. They have other desktops, but uh, 4.18.1. And this is using a 6.5 series kernel, very modern kernel. So for you folks that have the older computers, I'll talk about some of the older kernels you could install. For the folks that want to know what kind of GCC, it's 13.2.1. And for the other folks that want to know maybe motherboard information, CPU and graphics, uh, the MOBO is um, MicroStar B550, CPU is an AMD Ryzen 5, and the graphics card is an AMD Radon RX 550 4GB. Now, I am capable of filming in 3840, but I did spared you the small icon, so I filmed in 1920 by 1080 today. 1920 by 1080 is what I'm filming in. And if you need to, you can uh, hit pause on your YouTube player or stop and adjust your YouTube player accordingly with that gear symbol. Other than that, I'm going to use Alt and F4 and continue. Now, since Manjaro offers you both of best worlds when it comes to installing software, there's many ways of doing things. Down here is that small icon. This is a package manager called Pamac. You can do searches, you can do point and click stuff. So if you wanted the blender, you click that, you hit apply. It's that simple. You can also go to the uh, welcome screen or hello screen and uh, basically click applications. Let's talk about browsers for a second. You have the Firefox installed. You want the Opera, you want the Chromium, you click those and hit update system. There's other stuff in here. And you also have another option. Release notes are here. Uh, most of the stuff that I've been talking about, uh, I'm gonna be talking about in the file manager for highlighting purposes. And uh, I'll talk about some of the other little options a little bit later. So Alt and F4. Now I'm using a standard keyboard and I'm also using a standard USB computer mouse with a scroll wheel. The mouse pointer or mouse cursor is non-standard. I'm using this for highlighting purposes and it has a little feature that I'm going to talk about when I show you some tips and tricks on the file manager. But let me get this kernel thing out of the way. So um, go find your Manjaro menu settings manager if you're wanting to alter the Linux kernel and click Manjaro Settings Manager under System. And then go find the little penguin and uh, double click on him and go find a different kernel if you can't use the 6.5. So for you folks that have the older machines, you may want to investigate the 419, 5.4, 5.10, 5.15s. You can install those. All right, other than that, I'm running the 6.5 and you can see it's running and installed. Close. Okay, other than that, one more time, filming in 1920 by 1080. So, close window. Let's talk about File Manager. I could click any one of these icons. I could also open up Manjaro Menu and click File Manager here, so I really don't need any of these. Why do I say that? Because when I opened it here, I opened it with my home folder. I also have the file system, and I also have a trash can. So really don't need these icons if I didn't want them. 
So the standard file manager for XFCE desktops is Thunar. And in this case, it's 4.18.6. So uh, there are some new features in here that I'll talk about in a second, but I'm going to go through this procedure like you're a brand new user. Okay. So anyways, free space is 189. And uh, I have a file system, trash can again, and shortcut to desktop. When you click that, none of these will show up. If you manually add something like a folder, uh, not a launcher, I'm sorry. So uh, create a folder. I'll just call it test. That appears here, but none of these icons do. And the reason for that, because these are system icons, just as an FYI. All right. With that said, let's uh, talk about the size of this box. So the reason I picked this mouse pointer or cursor, it has a special feature. Not only is it nice and yellow and nice to look at, but it also does that. So the top of that pointer that's pointing to that bar is the top of this box, the actual window. So basically what I'm going to um, basically advocate to you, if you want to try this, if you want to try this, is if you want to resize the box instead of using that key to do this, is just be underneath that line and double click. It doesn't matter where you're doing this. Okay, I'm just demoing that. I can be over here if I want. All right, with that said, I'm going to make this larger again, and let's talk about the icon sizes, the thumbnail sizes. Right click, click zoom out or normal. You can also click the view menu, click zoom in out and normal, or hold down the control key and repeatedly hit the plus key while holding the control key. You can also hold the control key and hit minus, minus, minus to make it smaller, smaller, or hit the control zero to make it normal size. So let me demo some of that. Holding down my control key on a standard keyboard, hitting plus, 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 plus. Holding down the control key still, minus, 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 and minus, and one more minus. That's the smallest. So what I'm about to do is to show you a trick where you can substitute the plus, minus, and the zero all at the same time. I'm still going to use the control key. Hold down the control key and using uh, my USB based computer mouse scroll wheel to scroll forward to the maximum size and scroll backwards to the smallest and then somewhere in between by scrolling in and out. And then when I get it to the size I want, I let go of the control key. Okay, let, now let me open up pictures and demo this. It makes it nicer to look at. Okay, get it to the size you want. All right, so this again is Thunar, the file manager for the XFCE desktop environment. Under edit, the behavior, not yours, the behavior for this file manager under preferences is set for double click, my favorite, on all file managers for Linux. If you decide to use single click, the behavior that I'm about to show you may be different. FYI. All right, so I'm gonna take Mr. Mushroom over here and click it once and then hit the space bar on my keyboard. This is currently at 80%. The image size is 1920 by 1080. I'm gonna hold down my control key and scroll backwards to about 2%. Very dinky looking thumbnail. Now I'm going to still hold the control key and scroll forward well beyond 100%. That's 2,000%. Your percent may vary, <laughs> as they say. Uh, anyways, my wife likes mushrooms, and that, that one's not too, too bad looking. It's kind of cool looking, actually. I could also achieve the same doing this. A couple of different ways to close this sub-window is I can hit the X or Alt and F4. Alt and F4 it is. All right, so this image here looks kind of weird to some folks. 15.jpg.jpg, that's a perfectly valid name. I'll show you some different names as I move forward. So I'm going to hit the space bar again and look at this frozen tundra. My wife took this picture a couple of years ago. Right click, properties, image. It was taken with an iPhone 10 in 2021. You can see the image size, you can see the exposure, time, aperture, and all that good stuff. All right, a couple of more things. That guy there, hit the space bar again, cycling through some of my weird wallpapers. 
right click set anything as wallpaper so you can bring in your digital photos of your grandkids your kids uh, your pets um, friends and family and wallpaper off the internet holding down the control key scrolling back to make it dinky scrolling forward to make it large and in between okay and then I'm gonna let go of the control key now I'm gonna talk about some of the newer features with highlighters all of these are highlighters the red folder and the orange looking file folder or directories also this uh, file here is a PDF let me enlarge that slightly for you is a red text versus that's black so let me first talk about um, the highlighter and then I'll show you some extra tricks in here right click properties highlight reset and I'll do that to all of these so the highlighting feature what would you think would be the use for it well to identify files in a hurry okay now they're back to normal so the directories or folders are green because that's the theme I'm using resizing icons on the fly I already covered that all right so first of all a uh, couple more things for you you're kind of fairly new to Linux. this is a perfectly legit file name it's a text file this is mousepad it's a text editor and I'm gonna resize the text on the fly you guessed it holding down the control key while scrolling it's uh, just a recipe my wife found many years ago on cabbage soup for diets yeah we're all on those diet things once in a while right okay resizing text on the fly you can see what I have highlighted and you probably can't even read that so let me blow that up a little bit better that's now I have a couple of choices to close this box I have the X in the corner what's the other one alt and F4 can I do the same thing with PDFs you certainly can you can either hit the space bar to open this thing up and then you can hold down the control key to resize and enlarge the cool thing about it if you have a table of contents that have links on them let me blow this up just they'll hide up this is highlighting in yellow so I can click those or I can also hit my back arrow key on my mouse when you get into um, stuff like um, viewing areas you can point to them hold down the control key and zoom in and zoom back out holding down the control key scrolling forward and backwards letting go of the control key scrolling and the resized okay scrolling backwards and then I'll scroll down a couple of pages and let's say I wanted to look at that paper tray I just point at it hold down the control key and zoom in and allow this thing to build it's currently 330 percent okay alt and f4 what if I wanted to highlight that file so I can identify it easily out of here well we can start with text right click properties highlight let's do the text first I'll do red you can see the red text hit apply done now the text is different I'll take the A file here, or maybe even another PDF, it doesn't matter. Right click, properties. This time I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the box. Highlight, background. First pick the color. What do you want? I'll do light purple. You can see the light purple with the black text. Okay. Don't like the black text? Right click, properties, highlight. Let's do uh, purple with, see what white text looks like. That's what that looks like. Now, if you change that to a different background, you may lose that because the background of this is white. So sometimes pick, pick the right combinations. All right, so I will uh, want you to notice when I click on that, that also becomes half purple and part of it is green because it's active this is now active this is active 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 by clicking you're going to certainly open this but you get the idea all right right click 
properties highlight reset close now we're back to normal this one properties highlight I'll make that one red background and I'll also change the fonts to yellow and apply okay red background yellow text clicking on the single clicking on a file just to highlight it single clicking that kind of turns that partly green okay resizing stuff on the fly yellow text white text as soon as I clicked it this is red text okay. one more time spacebar to open holding down the control key zooming in and out for text size close PDF spacebar scroll in scroll out by holding down the control key and scrolling with your computer mouse once it uh, comes back into focus you can scroll and this was probably a poor example because it hasn't uh, well it does have links so but I can click on these and then if I wanted to see what this looks like I'd point at it and then hold the control key and zoom in you may have to adjust that slightly but then I can scroll back out and a new area over here a new area over here kind of follows almost my mouse cursor almost alt and f4 all right file system internal backup drives external backup drives you got more information if you point at them okay you can now see the free space what's used usb sticks will appear here also double click alt and f4 a couple of more little tips for you what's new right click panel i believe i read this in the release notes they changed that from percent to pixels and I believe it was this one here and then also right click desktop settings I believe the something in the menu is here that's what I read but again most of this video is all about the file manager hopefully you enjoyed this thank you for watching